Because you need to understand that half of the people on this planet, 50% of all people alive are females. So that woman you think is so special, that one you really want, she's so special, she ain't special, bro. She ain't special. Get that shit out of your head straight away. Because the more special you think she is, the more you're going to fuck up when you're talking to her. She ain't special. She takes a shit in the morning like everyone else. It's a fucking human organism. Who cares? There's girls prettier than her around. Maybe you ain't got their phone numbers, but they exist. So you got to go out and get them. So don't be trying too hard. Now, the reason I get away with such little work is because I put such a high price tag on myself. I am a four-time kickboxing world champion multimillionaire. So even, even any female, no matter how beautiful, knows I'm never going to be the guy hitting her up constantly. I'm not going to be the guy she can call and I'll always answer. I'm not going to be the dude who will give her lifts to work. She knows I got shit going on. Remember what I was saying earlier to you about how I've never struggled with females because I never focused on the females. These other game books and Roosh and all these idiots. This is the woman. Get the woman. Get the woman. Forget the bitch. Forget her. Forget all the chicks. Worry about yourself. Get yourself straight. And when your own shit's straight, got yourself together, females are an added bonus. It's much easier to focus on yourself and get yourself high level and then start getting females than it is to forget about yourself. Spend all your time day game running around the mall doing a thousand approaches trying to pick up a real fucking slut who will bang anyone and getting late. Fuck that garbage. All the game you've read before is bullshit. It's absolute bullshit and you're going to see why it's bullshit in, in the, one of the upcoming videos about how to keep hot girls, especially you're going to see why it's bullshit. But it's bullshit because if you go up to a thousand girls, you get five phone numbers and one might fuck you. Yeah, I'm sure that's absolutely true, but so? You're going to spend your life instead of becoming rich, instead of becoming strong, instead of becoming smart, you're just going to fucking run around a mall approaching girls, day game? Bullshit, it's garbage, it's for children. All that shit is for children. I focused on myself. And that's how I've managed to attain the highest quality females. And also not attain, retain, which is another thing we're going to do in a separate video. Because retaining females is completely different to obtaining females. So we're talking about the factors that you cannot control in terms of females. We talked about the timing, how some stores are closed. We talked about how you have to make her like you more than the other guys. And sometimes that's difficult. Let me tell you something. She might be talking to a real G. If she's talking to me, you're going to struggle to make her like you more. That's the truth. I have more tangible assets, more physical, financial, and mental assets. Plus, I know the game. Sometimes you're outclassed. That's how it goes. Sometimes you're just outclassed. That's how it goes. That's another thing you can't really control. But what you can control in those situations is that you don't make her lose respect for you and don't kill your chance for the future by being a little beggy, begging for attention bullshit. Keep your honor about you. But if you're going to lose the game, there's two ways to lose it. With honor and without honor. You're going to lose. As soon as you sense you're going to lose, as soon as you detect this girl, I'm not going to get her. Then you can either lose her by begging, hoping for that little tiny chance and losing all your respect. Or just thinking, you know what, I'm going to try again in eight months. Fuck this bitch, I'll get someone else. So we all know what the correct decision is. Don't be fucking so desperate for a girl you just lose all your honor and self-respect. Because then you're never going to get her. Ever. And that's some real dumb shit. So I want you to understand when we start talking about women, there's a whole bunch of factors you cannot control. When it comes to approaching hot girls, you have to understand this. Some are open for business, some are closed for business. Next, what can you do? Besides the factors that you cannot control, what are the factors you can control? Well, body language is one of them, obviously. Clothes, we've discussed all this. But really, when it comes to approaching females, game as a whole is something I don't like. I don't like the idea of it because it's bullshit. It really is bullshit. I cannot sit here and tell you how to act. Even if I told you to have the exact same mannerisms as me and say the exact same things I would say, they work for me, but they will not work for you because we're individuals. We're absolutely individuals. For the same reason when you learn to fight, you learn the basics of it. But if I were to say, mimic my movements millimeter for millimeter, I won't get hit and you will get hit because we're different bodies. It's just, we're different people. So I can't sit here and say, do this, do this, do this. Anyone who tries to tell you that, what they're doing is, they're trying to oversimplify an extremely complicated situation in an attempt to get paid. Because every single female you approach is going to be different. Every single scenario when you're in is going to be different. Every restaurant you sit in is going to be different. You're different to me. The mood she's in is going to be different. The weather is going to be fucking different. Maybe it's raining, maybe it's sunny. Everything has a small part to play. So for me to sit here and say, if you do this, and then you do this, and then you do this, 
you're going to get laid, is the kind of bullshit people package up trying to make it a complicated situation seem simple to get money. Getting laid is not simple. The only thing you can do if you want to retain, especially in a future video, retain as well as obtain hot women is be yourself. You cannot project and act for any considerable period of time. That's not possible. The only way you can be anything for a considerable period of time is to be yourself. So maybe you're a shit person. Yeah, fine, maybe. But you have to absolutely and utterly be yourself. Now there are some things which are ironclad beneficial when it comes to getting females. You can be yourself and be a confident version of yourself as opposed to a meek version of yourself. Confidence is always attractive because men were built to lead. Like we said earlier, men were built for combat. So confidence is something you need. Everyone already knows this shit. And confidence doesn't have to be sitting there and bragging. Confidence is little things. When you pick the girl up, where are we going? I know where we're going. Not where do you want to go? She doesn't want to hear that shit. She doesn't want to make decisions. Females don't want to think. They want to be led down a rabbit hole of entertainment. They want to be entertained. They don't want to think. They don't want to sit there and have to think about it. They'll say, yeah, we're going here. Even if you get there and it's shit, you don't like it here, so yeah, well, I do. Stick to your fucking guns. So confidence is obviously the first thing, but you know that shit already. Just be confident about who you are and what you say. Doesn't mean you have to be an asshole. You have to be an asshole. In fact, a lot of people confuse the two. A lot of people go, girls like assholes. No, girls like confidence. But nowadays, only assholes have confidence. If you're the rare select guy who's not an asshole and also supremely confident, you're definitely going to fuck. You haven't got to be an asshole. It's the confidence they're attracted to, not the asshole qualities. So yeah, you absolutely have to be yourself. You have to be a confident version of yourself. But we've already talked about this in lesson one. Believe you can do anything. You're about to go on a date with Megan Fox. Are you intimidated? No. Because you're the fucking man. And you're going to fuck her same night after taking her to the worst restaurant in town. Because you can do anything. Because you're a fucking genius. That's how I think. I don't even brush my hair. I don't even shave. I rock up in fucking clothes and wear them for two days. I don't give a fuck. Turn up. Hi. Start talking shit. Before you know it, she's naked. Because I know my skills. I know I'm the G. You know you're the G. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You can be yourself and you can be a completely different person to me, personality-wise, and still be a G. You can say completely different things and still be successful. You can have different mannerisms and different techniques or whatever bullshit and still be successful if you've implemented the first lessons correct i'm gonna actually i'm gonna digress there is a way to get revenge on women every time any i've heard anyone say oh my ex broke up with me she cheated on me i need revenge i need revenge that's 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 sick minded that's that's right. incel level shit the only kind of revenge that you can get on a woman is this ever say goodbye politely mm -hmm. keep working hard increase your value as a man Wait three years, four years, six years, yep. 11 yep. years, yep. and wait till you are the man. And yep. she's just now some chick, 28, 29. Yeah. And she's like, Tristan, you know, it should have always been you. Then you can either tell her no or break her heart again. Yep. But the thing is, the sad part is, it's five years of work. Yeah. At least. At least five years of work. And nobody wants to do the work. Mm -hmm. It's like getting into shape, as I'm sure you know. It's, you know, when guys are, you know, fat and they're like, oh, well, you get women because you're in shape. It's like, well, you could be in shape, but it's for you, it's two years. It's three years, you know? Are you willing to do that? The same is with your finances, the same with your mindset, the same with lots of things. So, yeah, if you do the work, the women do naturally come to you, but it's years of work and everyone wants a quick fix nowadays. Yeah. Everyone wants a magic pill or a magic spell or a magic trick and there, there are none. Well, I think a lot of it has to come down with, I mean, success with women is much like success in business or success in sports. It's down to you. It's personal accountability. And that's what a lot of guys want to throw out the window these days. And what they want to do is they want to blame women. Right. It's like uh, failing in every business you've ever attempted and failing to make money and then blaming capitalism. Blaming capitalism. Or failing in, uh, failing in uh, every boxing match or every American football game and NFL right. game you've ever played and blaming the referees or right. blaming the rules. No, uh, it's personal accountability and it's personal responsibility. And when you see guys out there who say, like, all women are garbage, I believe them. Because I believe all the women they get to meet are garbage. Right. Because they're bottom feeders. They're low-tier right. men and they're, they're attracting low-tier women. And low-tier people of all sorts attract each other. Low-tier men have low-tier male friends. They get low-tier girlfriends. And I believe the women they meet are garbage. Right. They don't get to operate at my level and they don't get to see how wonderful women truly are. Because right. I'm picking the fruit at the top of the tree. So I think a lot of these guys need to really, really look in the mirror, as I do, 
And sometimes I look at myself and think, Tristan, okay, you're a little out of shape. Tristan, okay, uh, you know, you've been, you've been sleeping too much, you've been, you've been partying too hard, you've got bags under your eyes, you've been, you know, uh, you're letting yourself go a bit. Right. And you have to keep yourself in check. You have to stay at the very top. And if you don't stay at your very top, you're not competitive anymore. Every single species on the whole planet is exactly the same. Every single female of every single species look at the, looks at the most competitive males and thinks, those are the ones I want to have my children. And women, human women, are exactly yeah. the same. So if you're not having the success with women that you want, don't go out there trying to blame women and don't go out there trying to change women. Right. I mean, the six foot four thing, fine. I would have been tall regardless. Right. I would have been six foot four. But if I was a really skinny dude who you know, had no money, sat at home playing the right. Xbox, you know, I'd have no receipts on social media, no one would know who I was. You know, I'd probably have a patchy beard because of low testosterone because I've never done any training in my life. That guy's not getting laid. 6'4 or no 6'4. There are lots of situations in life where your hands are tied. Okay, you can let this destroy you, which is an option, and people do this all the time, drink themselves to death, I don't know, start cutting themselves, whatever stuff people do to cope with difficult situations. Or you can be sad anyway, because you're sad either way. Mm -hmm. And work 18 hours a day you can work 18 hours a day not let anything distract you and stay focused on the mission so that way you have less time to think about it and you can be sad while you're working and then you know when you start to come to terms with everything you've got millions of dollars as opposed to oh i've come to terms with everything but i'm in a rehab clinic so i think that bad things are going to happen to your life and everyone watching this is the sad truth of it so i didn't really see why it was difficult as much as it was unpleasant, I don't think it was difficult because there isn't a way out of it. So it's the best way I can describe it. Mm. You could be a sad winner or a sad loser. So go and win every day. So yeah, so it's not just that it's getting harder to be the man. It's getting harder to be not the man because you don't even have the safety net of being able to pay $100 to sleep with a beautiful woman. So yeah, it really, really sucks to be uh, most people in the world right now. But it is better to be a, a high value man and mine and my brother's message of saying you know improve yourself get smarter get fitter get stronger um dress better and drive a nicer car earn more money when i'm saying that to young men it's because i feel that that is now necessary in this world to live a really great life you can live you can live a life worth living without some of those things but to live a really great life you really do need it has your heart ever been broken? Completely. Everybody's heart's been broken. Every single man, every single woman has been through a period where they wanted someone back who didn't want them. The difference between me and everyone else is I never left my, my pride or my dignity go out the window for it. That's the big problem with a lot of this heartbreak stuff. It's not that you're feeling heartbroken is bad. That's a natural part of the human experience. You just can't sacrifice your dignity for it. Yeah. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a very quick story. This is a story I've never told before. When I was, how old was I, 23? When I was 23, I was dating a ballerina. She was the prima ballerina of the Cambridge Ballet School in England. And I had no money. I was a fighter, but I was coming up. I didn't really have any money. And she lived far away, like an hour and a half away. But she used to come see me, and we were good for like a year, year and a half. I loved this girl, yeah? And uh, she finished ballet school. She started dancing in clubs in London. She couldn't get any ballet work, so five, surprise, surprise. And so she ends up doing like dancing. In, I'm not stripping, but like dancing in the club, you know, da-da. So now she's around all the, mo the London money every day. She's out dancing all the time. She's up late every night. She doesn't want to drive an hour and a half to come see me. None of this shit. So we're kind of falling apart a little bit. And uh, she ended up talking to someone famous, David Hay. I don't know who he is. He's a boxer. So anyway, when I finally saw her again, she was like, we had an argument. She's like, well, you know what? You think you're a fighter? This guy, that guy, this guy, that guy. I'm like, look. So I had this argument with her back and forth. And I explained to her that these men are just going to use you. If you're going to do it, at least get paid. And when she left the house, Tristan said, why are you telling her to fuck the dudes? I'm like, no, I'm just understanding that in my chess position, I've lost this game. Right. Mm. The game is done now. Just sooner or later, she's out. All we do is argue. She's in the club every night. But it's the queen's sacrifice, right? Right, right. She, we, we broke up three months later. I don't know if she's him or not or who she's I don't know. I never spoke to her since. But that's kind of the, the analogy you have to be able to apply to life. Sometimes chicks got to go. Yeah. Sometimes they have to go to save the king. And uh, too many dudes, most of the time, men truly lose at life is because they've attached themselves to a queen and they won't let her up they won't sacrifice her no no matter what i promised i'm going to stick by you this our marriage vows no matter what no matter what and they just stay on that sinking ship till she eventually leaves his ass and it's yeah. it's sad to see but men keep doing it uh what women want from men well the first thing we have to understand is that it depends 
right? Of course it depends. It depends on how old the woman is, what part of her life she's in, if she's looking for excitement, adventure, or she's looking for a family and to settle down, it completely depends. But in general, if a woman is going to dedicate herself to a man, then that man has to be all encompassing. He has to be a man who can fix most of her problems. He needs to provide stability and safety which everybody knows, but not many people consider that he also has to provide drama for her. He also has to be entertaining for her. If you're, if a woman only talks to you and you're the only man in her life and there's never any drama or there's never any, I wouldn't say conflict. I'm not saying necessarily start an argument, but if there's never any drama because drama is excitement, then they're going to naturally try and find drama somewhere else. And that always ends very badly for the man. You don't want them to try and find drama outside of the relationship. Women sit there and watch the Kardashians all day. They're addicted to drama. It's what they care about. Yeah. So if you're a woman's entire world, you also have to be the person who can, you have to shock her a bit. You need yeah. to be entertaining, all encompassing from head to toe. Women want to be with a man which keeps them entertained and a man which they trust and a man which they believe can fix all of their problems. This is another important thing. If a woman comes to you with an issue and you can't fix it, you'll see very quickly how, how soon they lose attraction. But truthfully, it doesn't matter if it's getting a girl or it's making money or it's getting status. It doesn't matter what it is. As a man, we live in hyper-competitive environments. I don't think enough men understand how competitive the world is. If you want a girl, you're competing against other men. You're not the only man who had the idea of getting that girl. There's no girl you're going to see and go, ah, oh, I'll get that girl and didn't cross anyone else's mind. Everybody else wants her. You have to out-compete other men. You have to be as competitive as possible. You have to be as successful as possible in all realms. You have to be as good looking, as funny, as smart, as spontaneous, as interesting, as charismatic, as rich as possible. You need to try very hard to be your absolute best. And as you become a better man, you'll crack through different tiers of attractiveness and eventually you get to the top and you'll be able to have any girl you want. But the truth is, I have a lot of guys ask me, similar to your question, a guy will come to me and go, how do I get a girl? I'm like, bro, you're a loser. Yeah, but I know, but how do I get a girl? Well, you're a loser. You're a loser. Why are you asking me? It's like saying, how do I win a race with a push bike? You're racing Ferraris. What do you want me to do? Yeah. There's only so much you can do. There's only so hard you can pedal. There's only so many tricks and, and tips. There's only so many game things you can say, yeah. so many pickup lines. If you're a loser, it's going to be very, very difficult and it's going to get harder and harder. The game is rigged to become harder and harder for men. It's not getting easier. It's going the other way. And if you're going to be on a racetrack and there's going to be Ferraris there and you're going to be on a pedal bike or in a Nissan, you're going to get smoked. That's the game. You have no. to up yourself. You have to improve yourself. I'm not going to lie to anybody here and say you don't have to improve yourself. You can stay a loser and, and get chicks because you can't. You need to be a man worthy of respect because a woman needs to respect you to love you. Thanks. And the way a woman's going to respect you is one of you respect yourself and two of other men respect you. You're not just going to be able to sit around and just think just because you're born with it, you're going to instantly get respect from females who have unlimited choice. Damn. That is that's stupid, right? That's absolutely stupid. And in spite of all these facts, some men are still remarkably lazy. Well, then you're going to live the reality that you've painted. You made your bed and you're going to live in it. That there's nothing else we can do for you. That's the reality of the world. You need to level up as a man. If any man who's watching this, it's not just money. It's not just being in shape. It's everything. It's life experience. It's pizzazz. It's having that famoose. Any emotion you feel should be converted into positive... Influence, yeah. yeah, you should do good things with any emotion you feel. I, I can't. And what else are you going to do with it? Quite and this yeah. is a genuine question. Yeah. What else? If, if let's say your your wife breaks your heart, if you're not going to work, you can't sleep anymore. Mm. You're upset. She's running around with a new dude. You see her Instagram story. She's got some new guy. You're furious and you're you're angry and you're jealous and you're bitter. You have all of this inside of you. But you're not going to go to the gym and work hard and become so fantastically in shape and so rich and so powerful that no girl ever leaves you again. You're not going to do that. No. What are you going to do with it? Text her? <laughs> Try and explain to her? She doesn't care. Like You can write the most perfect English. You can write the most beautiful words ever constructed. Forget Shakespeare. Convincing, you can convincing. do... You, it doesn't matter. She doesn't care. Mm. She just doesn't she care. She's distracted. She, she forgot about you. She forgot about you. So what are you going to do with all of that inside of you if it's not positive? Well, it's going to consume you and you're going to end up self-destructive or you're going to embarrass yourself or you can take all of that and put yourself in a position where it never happens to you again. Yeah. Those are the choices. So what's the most intelligent choice to make? Yeah. You know, um, I, I don't understand how many humans function in the world today. I don't get people who don't think like me. I, I, I don't understand it. I'm like, well, then how do how have you survived this long? Life is hard. Life is difficult. I, maybe I've just been unlucky, which I don't believe in, but I've had so much trauma and bad events and negativity and stress and all these things that have happened to me. 
and I've used all of it to be monumentally successful. If I wasn't that way inclined with the workload that God put on my shoulders, I'd just be in a ditch somewhere. Yeah. I'd be able to kill myself by now. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how people are functioning. If you're not thinking like me and you're going through life with any other mindset, you've been extremely fortunate that God smiled on you and allowed you to sit around most of the time doing jack shit and you have yet to be punished for that. Yeah. I, I could never have lived that life. If yeah. I was a bit lazy or a bit you know, or I was a bit of a snake or if I lied to people, I'd be dead by now. Yeah. Like, so a lot of these people are just absolutely and utterly blessed by God that they managed to go through life with such a non-competitive mindset and they still breathing. Like, I, and I don't get, I, I don't understand how people can think any other way. Yeah. I've spoken to dudes and like, yeah, you know, I had a bad couple months. Why? Oh, my girl left me. You've wasted months. You've wasted months over some. But, but the reason, the reason I'm the luckiest man on earth is because God has given me endless building blocks to build a superhero. I, he's, he, he's given me endless power. He's given me endless motivation. What do we say? Yeah. He's given me endless. I have endless sources of power. I can sit here right now and recall events that will prevent me from sleeping for two to three days. That gives me a superpower that other men do not have. They want to go to sleep. They're tired. I, I can stop being tired for, for days at a time. I can just have a thought. I can remember. I can sit, close my eyes, and use the power of my brain to vividly remember events, and I will not sleep for days. So how you don't can, need any drugs. You don't need anything. I, I've never taken a drug in my life. I've never tried cocaine in my life. I've never tried weed in my life ever. Wow. I drink a lot of coffee. I wow. smoke cigars, a bit of vodka, but I've never tried a narcotic in my life. Wow. So, and when people come to me and say, oh, this happened, I'm really sad, or my heart broke, or this bad thing happened to me, I say, good, good. That's Thank right. the Lord that he's given you this endless source of motivation. You're wasting it. Yeah. That's your problem. But it's been given to you. Nitrous oxide has been given to you. You just have to use it in the correct way. So I'm the luckiest man in the world because uh, all the bad things that happened to me have given me all the building blocks to become the most fantastic man on the face of the planet. Every, I, I, there's, I don't think there's ever going to be one person on so the planet amazing. you're truly compatible with. I think there's going to be you know, a few. And uh, If you have your life in order as a man, truly and completely in order, then you're compatible with a lot more people. I think that if you're a man and you're struggling to find somebody you're compatible with, that's probably because you're a, degree, you're a loser. If your life's in order, then you're compatible with, with a lot of women. Like me, me, for example, I don't need a woman to mother me. I don't need a woman to motivate me, to tell me to stop playing video games. I don't need her to do anything for me. I need her to be happy, uh, positive, protect my spirit, pray for me, maybe little things, make me a coffee, some kind of small gesture. But my money's right, my motivation's right, my life is right. And if she is associated with me, by proxy, she's going to have a fantastic life. I can't fly on my jet and put her Alone. on an easy jet. Yeah. Like, she's going to end up on jets. Yeah. She's going to end up in the five-star hotels. She's going to end up not having to worry about money. She's going to end up in the best restaurants. Yeah. By proxy, she's going to have a very fantastic life. So you'll, you'll find that if your expectations of a woman are for her to be happy and you have a lifestyle that makes her happy, a lot of women are pretty happy. Yeah. And you get along with basically all of them. It's kind of, a, it's kind of amazing how that works. It, only, it takes a very special type of character to still be dislikable in those kind of scenarios mm, yeah. whereas if your your life is less perfect or your reality is less impressive boring, then, right. then yeah then you need a girl who's happy to be bored or ha and then it becomes harder yeah you know? but I, yeah. I don't have any of those problems here's the truth about male female relationships women fuck men they respect that's it they don't fuck men they like they don't fuck men they love they fuck men they respect if she loves you and likes you and doesn't respect you she will not have sex with you I have women who respect me and fucking hate me, but they're here every time I call. There has not been in the history of humanity across any culture, any book, any story, any fable, there has never been across the history of humanity any respect put on the name of a promiscuous female ever, ever. You name the biggest conquerors that you can possibly name from history, Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, all of them. They all had a hundred wives, bunch of children, Big G conquered the world. Normal. That is normal evolutionary biology. That's how men are designed to be. There's never been a single female who's been celebrated for a promiscuity ever in history. It's always been frowned upon and disgusting. So yes, we are completely and utterly different. Yes, it's different if a woman cheats on a man. And if a man is at a complete top level of his life and ticks every single box, and if he decides to be loyal, which some do, and I can be loyal and I have been loyal, but there's also times in my life where I think, fuck it, I don't want to be, and get a new girlfriend every single day of the week. I can do that and I can decide to do that. If a woman decides to do the same, purely because her value is high enough to attract so many males, because she's beautiful, for example, it is completely different for a female <laughs> to be promiscuous on a long enough period of time without devaluing herself because she is fucking people she shouldn't be fucking. There is no way she is sleeping with endless men and all of them are either high value men or treating her the way she should be treated. 
If you find a woman who slept with 50, 100 dudes, she's either fucking dudes which aren't at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try and get the pussy. She's just too drunk to realize he's a loser who plays video games. Or she's fucking a top G who barely texts her back. So either way, she's fucking dudes she shouldn't be fucking or a guy who's at the level who doesn't give her the right amount of attention. For a woman to find a guy who's truly on a level, who truly treats her the way she should be treated, that's once every couple years, if that. So when a woman is sleeping around with all these men, she's devaluing herself. She's devaluing herself and the world knows, God knows, the universe knows knows. When a man does it, he doesn't devalue himself at all. That's just the way it works. The worst thing women do is they flex. Now that I'm rich, now that I'm top G, king of the world, they flex other men's stuff. That really blows my mind. So I'll be in the car. We'll go to get in the car, right? Lambo. I'll get in the car. She'll struggle with the door handle. The handle's a bit unusual. She can't work out how to do it. I'll lean across, open the door for her. Why do you make a comment? She goes, you didn't have to do that. Do what? We didn't have to open the door. You know, I, I know how it works. It's not the first Lambo I've been in. Bitch, you don't have a Lambo. So why are you bragging that you've been in another man's Lambo? You're going to flex with someone else's stuff? Imagine a man doing that. Imagine a man going, hey, okay, I've been in a Lamborghini. You have a Lamborghini? No, no, no. I don't have one. That guy does. Like, what's, what's cool about that? They start bragging about, oh, yeah, I, I've, been on, I've been on jets. You don't have a jet. You don't even have a thousand dollars in your bank account. You've never paid taxes. You don't have any money. You're a brokey. So that is true. So women try this idea of, well, I want a man that I know all the women want, but then he doesn't want them back. And da, 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 right? So the guys who they. So what I'm saying is what Will Smith did. If he put himself in a position where he had no power and he got abused. And my point is this: when I said that the idea of being with one woman forever is a fortress, I'm not even talking about the fact that I don't get sexual variety. I'm talking about the fact that I cannot see myself five years down the line being in a position of power within my own life and household. I want a position of power. If someone breaks, bro, if I, if I walk down the street with my chick and someone pulls a weapon and I have to fucking deal with it and I end up getting a fucking manslaughter charge, for example, I don't want her fucking with you and jump on a new dick and I'm gonna sell. No, I need, I need to have a position of power and control and I need to know she's loyal to me for life. That's what I want. That's what I enjoy. I want to walk in the house and say, dinner, bitch, where hey, is it? Hey. And not in a horrible way, in a, I love you so much, I call you bitch. Hey. Where the fuck's my food? I enjoy that position of power. You're not going to have that. You ain't going to host. There's a really long answer to give there, but truthfully, it doesn't matter if it's getting a girl or it's making money or it's getting status. It doesn't matter what it is. As a man, we live in hyper competitive environments. I don't think enough men understand how competitive the world is. If you want a girl, you're competing against other men. You're not the only man who had the idea of getting that girl. There's no girl you're going to see and go, ah, oh, I'll get that girl and didn't cross anyone else's mind. Everybody else wants her. You have to outcompete other men. You have to be as competitive as possible. You have to be as successful as possible in all realms. You have to be as good looking, as funny, as smart, as spontaneous, as interesting, as charismatic, as rich as possible. You need to try very hard to be your absolute best. And as you become a better man, you'll crack through different tiers of attractiveness and eventually you get to the top and you'll be able to have any girl you want. But the truth is, I have a lot of guys ask me, similar to your question, a guy will come to me and go, how do I get a girl? I'm like, bro, you're a loser. Yeah, but I know, but how do I get a girl? Well, you're a fucking loser. You're a loser. Why are you asking me? It's like saying, how do I win a race with a push bike? You're racing Ferraris. What do you want me to do? Yeah. There's only so much you can do. There's only so hard you can pedal. There's only so many tricks and, and tips. There's only so many game things you can say, yeah. so many pickup lines. If you're a loser, it's going to be very, very difficult, and it's going to get harder and harder. The game is rigged to become harder and harder for men. It's not getting easier. It's going the other way. And if you're going to be on a racetrack, and there's going to be Ferraris there, and you're going to be on a pedal bike or in a Nissan, you're going to get smoked. That's the game. You have no. to up yourself. You have to improve yourself. I'm not going to lie to anybody here and say you don't have to improve yourself. You could stay a loser and, and get chicks because you can't.